this is the 4150 platform that we haven't done yet. Um, it's it's Holly Demon Quick Flow Pro. Uh, sorry, Quick Fuel Pro Flow. They all make them, and Edelbrock's now making one with that uh, with the VRS. So we're gonna go over it. And this is the platform that I use on my drag racing cars and trucks um, because the Edelbrocks that you guys know are fantastic for hot rods. They they are easy to use. They come out of the box super simple. Uh, if you want to try to tune for like ultimate drag racing, they're not great because they don't have that much tuning. Um, but this one does. Can you hold the box down? We got this from Edelbrock while we were up there, Dag, and it was it was insane. This thing is pre-production. It's well, it's production, but it hasn't been released yet to the public, and it's just incredible. I've been geeking out on this thing forever. So, first off, obviously, it's totally different than a regular Edelbrock, right? You see all these air bleeds right here? There's 16 air bleeds. This has four fuel circuits so that you can tune the air fuel ratio at all parts of the throttle. So you can tune the idle, you can tune the uh, transition, which is coming just into the throttle. And then they split the wide open throttle into two circuits. So you can kind of consider it like a mid and a high. And the idea is you can you can essentially put more or less fuel into the charge at all four of those positions in the throttle. Does that make sense? But you can't do that with the, the regular ABS or performer. This thing has literally every trick. Um, it's got dual fuel inlets, yep. So you have AN fittings and they're both bowls, but they're also on both sides. So if your fuel line's on the other side, you put it on this side. This is cool, this is a drain for the fuel bowl. So when you're, so when it's on the car and you wanna make a change, you used to have to take that bolt out down here and then like hold a Dixie cup under it and let the fuel come out. With this, you're not gonna drain fuel all over your car, which is awesome. This is the most important part to me personally. These are called annular boosters. The annular booster takes what used to be a single, uh, a single tube called a dog leg and that's where all your fuel came out. It now comes out in 12 little holes all the way around the charge. So it's already atomized and it burns so much better. Like people who have switched from a down leg or a dog leg to an annular booster will never go back. Like, and this is something very trick that only you get in kind of like race carburetors. Like this carburetor, honestly is probably better than the one I have on my drag truck. And I paid almost $1,500 for my drag truck oh, carburetor. They're gonna sell these for about $150 above the CFM number. So like a 750 is gonna be under $900. Yeah, huge difference. Um, some other things I saw right away, it's got sight glasses on all four sides. So when the, when the uh, carburetor is on the car, you tune the float level with this right here. And you can look in the little glass and you can see where the fuel is. So a lot of the carburetors that come from factories don't have those, they just have a hole. You can look into it. <laughs> they, have a, they have a hole and what you used to do, this sounds crazy, is you open up, you take the plug out, you have the car running and you bump the fender of the car like that. And if fuel comes out, if fuel comes out, then you have your float set correctly. Like, how crazy we're literally like bumping fuel onto a hot motor but that's how you used to have to set your fuel line so to have these two on both sides these two glass is really cool it's got idle circuit bleeds on all four corners so this is your idle air mixture screws so you can set your idle really well this is cool so if you have a motor with a really really big cam and it's a big block motor Getting it to idle is really, really hard because it's it's lumpy. Like if you heard a motor like oh, go, 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 go. what you used to have to do, you used to have to drill holes in your blades to let more air in but less fuel. You don't want to drill holes and these are beautiful. So they actually put air bleeds right here. So you don't have to drill those holes. Again, it's like every cool trick that, that I have paid a ton of money for they're putting it into a production. Oh, I didn't even think about this, this because I don't use one. 
a built-in TPS sensor. So what this is, it's a little lever, and you put a, a TPS sensor on it, and it will tell your transmission where your throttle oh, is. Cool. So if you're running a 4L80E or an electronics transmission, it automatically will kick you down into the lower gear, like when you go deep oh. into it, it'll drop your transmission down to the next gear so you can get passing speed. You can also hook up a data logger. So when you're drag racing, you have data loggers all around the car doing different things. You'll know where your throttle is in all parts of the game, of the race. It's got, Wesley showed me this. This is cool. Grab the other pedal block over there. Flip it over. Have you noticed how the shafts can move back and forth yeah. in here? Okay. And they do that on purpose, right? The shafts can slide. See that? They do that so it can automatically kind of seat and seal. But what happens is because they move over time, that uh, bear, that bushing will wear out and you'll get a vacuum leak there. Or if this is really bad, it'll actually scar the edge of the bowl. It'll create a problem. What they did on the Edelbrock is they pinned them. So it has absolutely no play. So they, they um, radius the shafts and put a pin in so it can't move back and forth pretty awesome yeah yeah you have questions what these are squirters so the squirter that's in the proformer is the one that's right there um, actually sorry it's the one that's right there um, that is really hard to get to if you need to replace it and you want to go with more fuel these you can just pop off put a new one on and it'll give you more or less fuel and what this does is right when you hit the throttle, you lose your vacuum in the, in the motor. Yeah. This gives you that squirt of fuel because without a vacuum, without a vacuum flow going through the carburetor, it's not pulling fuel. So this will give you a little bit of, it just squirts the fuel in. This thing is honestly, it's got every bell and whistle. I want to pop off this bowl real quick. Watch what? So this is the drain, drain port, which is awesome. This is so cool because it like, just on the drag strip, you want to make a change. You end up pouring fuel all over your motor. That's really cool. I want to take one of the bowls off and see what they did inside. These bowls are extra large. So if you have a really big block, a big horsepower motor, um, you can actually starve the motor. You can, you, it can work so well that it pulls all the fuel out of the motor, uh, out of the carburetor and you can go lean. Are those rubber things gonna fall off? Uh, I don't think so. Usually they got a little bit of a, of a like an indentation that goes into the, into the bowl. That's weird. <laughs> I know, it goes all the way through this metering block. Okay. Right, let's take it off here first. Oh, wow. All right. So they did extended jets on the secondary. So the carburetor sits like this on the motor. And when you launch, the whole car goes like that. All the fuel that's in this bowl goes to the back of the bowl and if these jets which normally they're right here at the block they come the fuel is not in the jet anymore and you go lean so they built these little brass so extensions yeah so these jets are way back with the fuel so when you do this the fuel is uh the fuel is still getting into the jet wow oh my gosh this is this is really amazing. I don't know if you can see, can you see all of these bleeds? Yeah. These are called emulsion tubes and it meters how much fuel goes into that air charge. There's, oh Jesus. There's 10 adjustable emulsion tubes, two more up here, four back here. These are for, these are for air bleeds. Oh, this thing is like, this is so tunable. Holy cow. Oh. oh, that's awesome. Look at this. They made the boosters 
so you can remove them and put in a different size booster. That's cool. Holy. I mean, you guys haven't really worked on one of these before. Oh, they have check valves for the power valve. Um, if you do a backfire, this is your power valve right here. If you have a backfire, it'll blow this power valve out, but they have check balls in there to stop a backfire from blowing it out. I didn't even notice this until now. The whole body is one piece. On all of the performance carburetors, it's a base and a top. The whole body is one piece machined out of aluminum. That's amazing. It's drilled for 4150 or Demon, uh, sorry, Dominator um, platform, 4500 platform. Wow. This thing is just, this is way nicer than the than the 950 Pro form that I built, and it I probably spent $1,200 on it. And they're gonna produce this as a manufactured carburetor with like all the parts you need. That's killer, man. Right? Can you see why this is now such a game changer from yeah. the old one? Yeah. Oh, this is cool. I didn't even see this. This one's black. Well, it's 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 notched for the extended jets, right? Oh, so that the really jets cool. go in. Yeah. It's not like your normal piece. No. Wow. This thing is unbelievable. Yeah, it's unreal. It's gonna be a mass-produced. Like this is honestly probably the trickiest carburetor on a on a forty one fifty platform I've seen. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So different, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, we're gonna get to know it, and I don't want to break this one down much farther, but um, we'll get to we'll get to know it, and maybe start rebuilding these when they come back in. Oh, um, Cody from. Uh, Venice Auto Marine mm -hmm. is going to let you dyno test uh, this That'll on, yeah. on your no no he's got a he's got an LS that is uh, carbureted and he's got a big block uh, 454 and he's super excited about that he's going to get to dyno we're going to get to dyno test this that's so cool. awesome awesome all right guys